Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CSTV. I'm your host, Kathleen Egaltoto, Madam CS, and this is the striker. Stay tuned and have a true entry. The striker today leads us to Kisi County. We are analyzing a case where five primary school teachers were arrested and interdicted in what was termed as administering an immoral punishment to lower primary school bias. So in today's episode, actually, we want to find out was the punishment accorded to teachers actually going to solve the really problem at hand in that particular episode? And secondly, we want to find out who was on the wrong. Was it the teachers? Was it the person who recorded and sent the video online? Or actually was it actually the students who were being punished? Or was it the social media that took up the thing, you know, the social media cheshi that took up the video and started to give all types of types of ideas and um, punishments that should be administered to the teachers. So in today's episode, kahapo teke teke to pige his story, no emotions, ukitaka kuleta matusi, unesewe hapo chini pia, but let's have a very sharper conversation about this. Now, in 2023, a lot has happened. Of course, kuna watu wenye wameniuliza, Madam CS, you rienda wapi? Actually, I have been around, but I was up and down doing one or two things. So that's why I was not able to make videos and bring new content. But sasa, I'm back like I never left before. Back to this, uh, to our main agenda of today. Uh, a good part of last week, part one, a video was going online. It was a viral video in TikTok, in Facebook, in WhatsApp groups, where primary school teachers in a school in Kisi County were punishing lower primary kids. And in this punishment, they were telling them to do what they were doing before they were reported by their fellow students. Now, according to the story that was... Um, captured in the daily media nation, um, media houses, it was that um, these boys were reported by feral students or by feral pupils uh, of doing, um, of engaging in an immoral sexual act or of engaging in gayism, for lack of better term. So they reported them to the teachers. And then when the report came, the teachers decided now to let the boys do exactly what they were doing in private, in public. And then somebody recorded this and sent it online. So that was the story. But what happened is that a lot of uh, pile and the negativity was channeled towards the teachers. And I feel like we did not handle the really problem that was actually in that particular video. I know so many of you have emotions and some many of you... um there's a you know a lot of to do with you know if it was your son if it was your son but we really have to put emotions away and we analyze this video in a very honest conversation if at all we need to end these problems in the society now these boys they were being told to do what people have regarded as an immoral sexual act so the major issue here, why these teachers have been interdicted, is to tell the students to engage an, in an immoral sexual act. Not actually to engage, to repeat what they were doing before they were reported by fellow students. So that means that the major issue we are talking about here, the major problem it was an immoral sexual act. This is the major issue. You know, this is what the social media was full of. People were saying, teaching students gay sin, teaching students homosexuality, etc. Now, the problem here, according to the clip that was going around and the people, the way they were commenting and crucifying the teachers, was the homosexual act. Now, the teachers have been interdicted. I want us to start asking ourselves, how does this then solve the major issue here? The homosexual behavior that this student had started to attempt. And you know, let's have this uh, honest conversation. 
I know for some, most of us who went um, uh, who schools uh, schooled in the two thousands, and um, and in the rural areas, sometimes you could go to school maybe with maize, and then when the teacher is teaching in class, unatoa iyo maindi unaanza kukura. Ukitificha, ukipatikana na iyo maindi what used to happen. Uliko na ekuanga apo inche kwa bared. Uketi hapo katikati ya uwanja ukule hiyo mahindi ufanye nini umalize punishment yako imeisha walae unge wae rudia that thing. We have also been those ones who have been in boarding schools and unge patikana umelala asubuhi breaks watu wengine wakienda wameenda darasani. What happened? Uliko na tole wangu na plangeti yako unakuja unalala hapo the whole day. Like being told to repeat the mistake that you are doing is a punishment norm in most schools and the funny thing is i how people were saying that um it has never happened uh, and i'm like why can't we be realistic we used to see people being told to repeat what they were doing you repeat eating your your your, your food in bread you repeat uh, sleeping you unatolewa darasani ulikuwa unalala mchana unabii waende ulale hapo nje you you go and sleep there it was a way of making you not to do it again because the shame you will get from people or from the fellow student from the fellow students utairu deyo makosa but now for me the problem came in when somebody decided to record this and send it to social media if this punishment was administered within the school environment and it was not recorded and sent anywhere then it could have been okay but for me, the major problem lies with somebody who, the person who decided to record this, because then that, you know, you have exposed them, these kids, to the social media, you know, because these are young kids, and when they grow, they will be seeing that forever. The social media never forgets. So for me, the person here, it's not the teachers who are administering the punishment. The person, the problem here, actually, is the person who recorded. And for me, this is the person who was supposed to be arrested or interdicted or whatever done to him. But just interdicting all the six, all the five teachers because they are were telling the students to repeat the mistake that they had been found doing, I found it so unfounded. And I want to explain why I found it so unfounded. These children were engaging in homosexuality and they have been reported so i want to understand how does interdicting the teachers help us reverse the homosexual behavior that has already entangled these boys i think as really parents scholars and people who actually think about the morality of this society as we have now came come out all of us like we are now all of us holy ones you know we came out in full swing crucify them and this was very wrong now there are some questions that we needed to ask ourselves and honestly if i was to be the parent of this poison folk i could also want to find the following questions for how long has this behavior among these kids been going on i didn't see anybody ask that question for how long have they been doing this before they were reported by fellow students? That's the first question. The second question that we needed to answer is the question of where did they run this? You know, we live in a digital world and we want teachers to do everything for our own kids. You know, we want teachers to be to teach them, teach them manners, mold their behavior, everything. And we also want teachers to make sure that they pass their exams. But the, the truth is, some of these kids spend time with you at home in the evenings when they come, and we are using the digital space as nannies and babysitters. So the question could be, how a total walichua wapi, walitua wapi yotapia? Where did they learn this act that amani anaizalalia mwano umemungine? So as a parent, you were supposed to choose it. Mtoto wangu ametua wapi itapia. As a society, we are supposed to choose it. These are the lower primary school kids. But they know that mwanome anezalalia mwanome mwingine. So the question is, walisitoa wapi? So that is question number two. For how long has it been going on? Now, walitoa yota pia wapi? Number three, how many more are involved in that? Because, remember, these are lower primary school kids. What, what could be happening in the upper 
primary section where we have boys and girls wenye wamechitambua wenye hata wamefunzwa reproduction you know how how sure sure are we that these young boys don't have mentors from the upper primary classes you know so for me it was like how long where did they learn this and how many more are involved in this and finally how can we then reverse this behavior but you know the way now the case took the direction it took the directions that the teachers were on the wrong and in the so doing we failed to see the major elephant in the room now imagine those boys wherever they are wanajua walikuwa wanafanya kitu mzuri walimu ndio wabaya you know how are you going to reverse that behavior wataendelea kufanya hivyo ama how are you going to reverse that behavior yes we we have come out in full swing that is a very immoral behavior to tell the students repeat but now the teachers have been interdicted and trust me you other the teachers who have replaced those teachers in that school hakuna siku yenye utasikia mwalimu ameketisha mtoto kumwambia anything in terms of disciplining them mwenye anataka kuoa hapo shuleni anaisooa mwenye anataka kuengage in pornography hizo vitu zote anaisafanya because we came out and presented the teachers as the devils here so imagine mimi i'm coming to replace another teacher knowing that this teacher was administering a punishment and somebody carelessly recorded that punishment and sent it to the mtandao alafu mimi mwanzangu akafanya nini akapoteza kazi so do you expect mimi ni kurudi hapo nishughulike na discipline ya watoto hapana mimi nitakuja hapo kazi yangu ni kufunza na niende mwenye atasikia askie and you know we live in a country where corporal punishment is no longer there so you don't expect teachers to kill your 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 children we don't expect them yet you mtoto mwalimu amegonga mtoto wako you don't expect because ya kimgonga that's a violation of human rights and it is illegal in the country you know number two, now the parents every parent want their children to be treated in a special way in school you know kila man, kila mzazi ametafutia mtoto wake a very special way kitu yenye inamfanya special shuleni mtu kababaka mama the kababaka mama mentality has moved from home now you have taken it to school mtoto wako unataka kuje shule venye anataka others even don't do homework wengine mnataka watoto wenyu wakuje shuleni na different ma hairstyle zao venye wanataka you don't want to conform to the school kind of uniform kama ni kunywa watoto wote wanywae ama kama ni kutengeneza nywele watoto wote watengeneze style moja you want always like mtoto wangu yeye amesoea hivi mtoto wangu lazima afae hivi mtoto wangu lazima akule hivi that's the, the character that you have brought to school and it has reached a point where well by even the students know hakuna kitu yenye mwalimu atamfanyia you know now you want to tell me the little boys who were involved in this case utawahi mwambia anything about teachers when they know mwalimu alimuguza ama mwalimu alikuwa anampatia punishment akapoteza kazi so already this child ameweka it in mind the moment a teacher does anything you know to me in the name of punishing me anapoteza kazi there is nothing you can be done to them you know so i feel like as a country we are not heading to the right direction and as a society we are heading to a very rotten direction we like working on the secondary issues we are very reactive we just pick the secondary issues and forgot forget the really really problems and this is a very good example of what happened in that particular clip and the aftermath all and the outcomes that came out we forgot that it is this homosexual act that was making you people so emotional in the social media but you forgot that it is not the teachers who thought these students that homosexual act you know these students have learned it somewhere and they have brought it to school but the way the world carried it you carried it as if it is the teachers who were teaching these students homosexuality 
So because of that, these teachers have been interdicted. Maybe they will lose their jobs. Maybe they will not. But we forgot to handle now this homosexuality problem among these kids. We didn't even ask who taught them. We did not even ask how many were they. How long has it been happening? We did not ask that. We just rushed. Walimundi wa wabaya. And even this is what happens. Killer time. Mtu unasema mwalimu anoenea mtoto wangu. Walimu anoeneanga watoto wetu. And I'm asking yourself. Do you think mwalimu anaiza toka kwa kia asubui? With the mind is leo anaenda kupiga mtoto wa wenyewe. Ama anaenda kuonea mtoto wa wenyewe. What makes your kid special in school? Nothing. Because your mwalimu by the time anatoka kwa kia. Hakuna so many things to do. He has lesson plans to make. He has teaching material aids to make. He has notes to make. He has so many things to do to make the lesson interesting. You know, he has so many things to feel as a teacher. By the time anatoka shuleni, he's already tired. How, how do you get the inner even to think that kuna mwalimu anonea mtoto wako? And when these same, same students, wakichwa mama shule, tunansa kusema teachers have failed. There's no discipline in that school. You know, wakifaili mtiani, tunapepa mapango. We did not expect this. Come on, dude. Say, let's be very honest. Yani unaese expect our to chenye tumesecha against teachers wapite mitiani. We are expecting wanafunzi enye wanachoma mashule walimu wawafunze wapite. Tunaese expect watu chenye tumesecha against teachers walimu wawafunze na amani wapite. If you set teachers, students against teachers, you create an empty enye iko. Na kuna siku enye mwalimu atashugulika hata kufunza mtoto more, he will just do the service, service teaching and he's gone. Because why should somebody kill himself or herself to make your son or daughter better when you are setting the same son and daughter against him or her? So I think, and I know there are some, some of you are still with emotions, but if you look at that episode and the way it happened, you should be able to know that as a country, we failed. We were so reactive. And ready to crucify teachers because it mesoea kutusi, kusengenya, na kuple mwalimu. We have, we have gotten used to. All the time, mwalimu, anything wrong, kadogo tu, sorongasi mwalimu wa kukwa picture. We have gotten used to planning teachers, everything teachers, everything negative. Teachers, 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 teachers. So we were so reactive and picked on the teachers because to mesoea kuingilia mwalimu. And we forgot to handle this, the real, real problem. The homosexual culture in that school. Especially among those kids. Ili toka wapi. Imekwe kiendria for how long. Na, how many are involved. So, it is Madam C.S. Let's keep the conversation going. Write down your comments there. Piano opinion yako. And let's keep this um, discussion live.